वेलकम टू फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ बुलियन एल्जेब्रा एग्जाम्पल्स इन द लास्ट टू प्रेजेंटेशन आई एक्सप्लेन यू वट इज बुलियन एल्जेब्रा एंड वॉट आर द डिफरेंट रूल्स इन्वॉल्व इन इट आई एक्सप्लेन ईच एंड एवरी रूल एंड ऑल्सो प्रूव दैम द रूल्स आई हैव रिटर्न ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द स्क्रीन सो दैट वी कैन यूज इट डायरेक्टली वेल सॉल्विंग अवर एग्जाम्पल्स एंड द फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज ए एंड बी और ए एंड बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट वी हैव टू मिनिमाइज इट बाई यूजिंग दिस सेट ऑफ रूल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट solution let's say this is function f a and b or a and b complement if you remember the priority i told you the not is the highest priority and then and and then or so first we try to implement the de morgan's law that is actually the complement law and uh, we can find that there is no such case like this too so we cannot implement the de morgan's law so this is gone then we will see for and if we can implement any of this here and you can see we do not so this is also gone the only thing is left or so function f is equal to you can see a is common in both the literals so i will take a common and in bracket i'm left with b or b complement and b or b complement is equal to 1 here you can see a or a complement is equal to 1 so b or b complement is also 1 and now we have a and 1 a and 1 is equal to a from here so the function f is equal to a you cannot minimize it further so this is our answer so this function a and b or a and b complement is equal to a simply so this is equal to a now you can prove this by using the truth table so let's do it quickly we have two variables a b the output is f and this is equal to a b or a b complement and uh, as there are two variables we have four possible combinations 1 0 1 Oh one. Now let's try to find out the value for f. When a is zero, we have zero and b is also zero, or zero and one. B is zero and taking its complement, we have one. So overall, we have zero or zero, and zero or zero is equal to zero. So function f is equal to zero. So function f is equal to zero. In the same way, if I have a as zero and b as one, I'm going to have zero. And uh, when a is one, b is zero. Let's see what we have. A is one, b is zero. So you can see one and zero. One and zero will give me zero. One and one will give me one. or is there so we have a zero or one is one i have told you whenever you or anything with one the output is always going to be one so zero or one is one so i have one here in the same way if i see for the last case then we have a as one and b as one so a as one and b as one this thing is equal to one so once you have anything odd with one i'm not going to evaluate this thing because it is a and b complement whatever be the value of this thing we have output as one because this thing is odd with one so the output the output is one now you can easily compare that a is 0011 and f the function the output is also 0011 they are same so whatever be the value of b variable it is not affecting the output so why to write this whole thing when you can simply write f is equal to a from the truth table also you can cross check your answer from the truth table but we are not going to do this thing in the exam every time because we don't have that much time we will practice lots of problem so that it will prevent us making the mistake now let's move to the solution number 2 in this the function f is equal to a b or a b complement c or a b complement c complement now you can clearly see that this a is common in all the three literals so i will take a common and in bracket i have b from here b complement c or b complement c or b complement c complement okay now we have to use this rule that i told you 
very important one in this you can see when we have a or a complement b we have a or b i just omitted this thing in the same way if i compare this two i will eliminate b complement so i have a b or c because i have eliminated b complement by distributive law this thing is written as it is b complement c complement let's see what we have in the next step and again you can see we can implement this law once more here if i see b b complement c complement i'm going to again eliminate this b complement so that i will have b or c complement or c now it is really easy to calculate c complement or c from here you can see a complement or a is equal to 1 so c complement or c is also equal to 1 so b or 1 b or 1 from here you can see is 1 so a and 1 a and 1 from here you can see is equal to a so this large function is equal to a so this is the beauty of boolean algebra you can reduce this thing to such a small value by using this set of rules i think this is all for this presentation we have solved two examples and in the coming presentations we will solve some more examples that will help us build our concept there is some advantage of minimization why we are minimizing the first advantage is the reduction of hardware definitely you are going to use less number of gates so you are reducing the hardware the second advantage is minimization in cost once you reduce the hardware it is obvious that you minimize your cost because the hardware is having some cost the third one is increase in speed and fast response when you reduce the number of gates each gate will have its own time for example you have three components and these three components is having its own time let's say ta tb tc after ta this will produce the output after tb this will produce the output and after tc this will produce the output so total time is equal to ta plus tb plus tc now by some means you eliminate this block and the functionality remains the same the output is not affected then the time will be let's say it is t dash the new time which is equal to ta plus tb so we can say that t is greater than t dash so we have reduced the time and also the power dissipation is reduced